Vidit Gujarati has Jeffrey Ziong's king on the run. He's trying hard to think on the board to figure out how to checkmate the white king. He has close to 13 minutes on his clock. Look at that focus there. He really wants to get this game. The difficulty in this situation is that there are two moves which are interesting. There is a knight h2 check and there is also knight to e5 check. With it just making sure that all his calculations are correct. It's in moments like these that chess players really have to trust themselves, pack their calculations and make their moves. And there Vidit goes knight e5. The reason why this position was not easy for Vidit was because there were two good knight moves. One was knight h2 check, the other one was knight e5. If he went knight h2 check, then after king g5, rook c5, king f6, queen c3, king e7, the rooks are traded, but after king e6, the knight is slightly offside and white has a few pawns, it's going to be a tough technical task. Vidit actually found knight e5 check in the game, Xiong went king g5, but if he had taken the knight, then after rook c4 check, if king goes to f3, an important check on c3, and after king g4, it's a checkmate. If instead the king goes to g5, then after check, king takes g6, queen f5 is checkmate. This position is a perfect example of when you find a good move, look for a better one. Jeffrey Xiong instantly placed king to g5 because he knew that taking that knight was almost going to lead to checkmate and now Vidit has seen his next move as well. He knows that he has to play his knight to f7, a fork to the king and the queen. Xiong takes the knight and Vidit now is thinking for his move. There, are, there could be an intermediate check in between on g3 with his queen. But he decides to pick up the rook. And he knows that he's got the game in the bag. He's a rook up. He gets up from his chair. Just stretches his legs a bit. But he knows that this game is extremely important. Comes back to his chair. Sits down. He doesn't want to let this go away. A few more moves happened but Vidit calmly converted his extra material and went on to win the game. With this, he has a 1-0 lead in the match.